welcome. Mr. X joined by Dirk. Gonna be jumping into Justice vs. TCM. Looks like players a little bit confused of what team they need to be on. And they've figured everything out. We're gonna go on with TCM off the start here. And we're gonna go on board with Jerd. Gonna be working his way into this middle hard point. And uh, TCM, they have been losing every game they played, Dirk, in game five. It's kind of heartbreaking. You know, they've been making a little bit of a run through the league, but still struggling a little bit winning those game fives. Yeah, like you said, uh, just can't really close it out. Gets off to really a hot start in the series, everything like that. But once it comes down to that crucial moment, just cannot close it out. That's obviously going to be the biggest part. You can win as much as you want, but if you can't just finish out games, it's not going to do much beneficial. Someone that we should bring up, TCM, Noble TCM. We just did a gamer tag on the screen. Uh, T, uh, what's his actual name? T, something like that? I have no idea. We'll you could be making T. this all up, but I have no idea. He's, gonna, he's actually going to be playing now, so... The Justice Squad has all their four starters playing where before they had Cinder subbing in for him. Cinder had a pretty good series. So uh, yeah. TCM gonna have to come in, pick up some of that slack. It's gonna be TCM going into this hill, going into the lead as well. Uh, 20 to 12, gonna have Jerd on your screen. He fired some shots down lobby. Looks like it's gonna be Merc, the one that's gonna challenge into the hill directly to Jerd's left. Jerd able to win that one, has two more players funneling in as well. Jerd's able to win another one. Big plays coming out of Jerd and the rest of the guys on TCM here, able to hold this one down. Yeah, Jerd off to a pretty good start. Three captures to his name, seven and five as well. Let's go ahead and jump on board with Octane. He's gonna be inside of the hill. Had a really bad s &D in that last series in that game five, so I didn't notice. I think he went two and seven. So, so if he can pick things back up in hard point, I mean, from what we saw in that first series, he did very well. Uh, Octane just played out of his mind until that last SND. So let's hope he can just kind of hope it doesn't demoralize him too much. And hopefully he can pick it up after a pretty good start as well for him. It's hard to kind of going back and forth, score the game very, very close. Going to be rotating back into that art area. Now you do look at the map. Going to be two players from this uh, Justice Squad who are going to be back there. And I believe the last player to be up is going to be Octane. He's already inside the hill. Yep, Octane's gonna be inside of the hill. Two players pushing directly to his left. Gonna be able to take one out. Gonna reload right away. Have a teammate pick up the other. Two more players funneling in from the left. He is still alive somehow on a four streak. Gonna be just jumping around inside the hill, trying to stay alive as long as he can. Doing a nice job buying some time for his teammates. See if they can push Merc, trying to push through the front. Gonna be able to take out one. Noble, TCM in the kill feed, gonna be able to take out another. Octane with a third, should be Merc picking up the one from behind, gonna be able to take the hill back for Justice. Yeah, definitely Merc picking up another kill there as the player does try to enter inside of the hill. It's gonna be Justice getting a pretty decent time off this hill, being able to win all those crucial gunfights. And Octane will have been the main slayer inside of this hill. Just as I say that, he gets taken out. Shane now gonna be inside of this hill. They're gonna get the scrap time on this one. Now, if you look at the map at the bottom, it's gonna be TCM gonna be first on that rotation. And it's gonna be crucial to take out these Justice players here so they can lock down this back area and hold the spawns. Yep, Moose pushed straight down through the hill. Now he's gonna wrap all the way around. Should be able to come behind some of the players on Justice and he was able to do that, just not able to hit any of his shots. It's gonna be Jerd also flying at the TCM play, Jared, Justice players, geez, you know, the TCM name and the team really confusing here. Uh, Gunshi's gonna be pushing into the hill. It's gonna be Merc with the bow. He's gonna drop as well. This bottom hill is absolute chaos right now, Dirk. Don't really have any idea what is going on. It definitely is. TCM, uh, they really did try to make an effort to push through to try to get those spawns, but still, the spawns have been going in favor of this Justice squad. Octane, gonna be your player to watch. Obviously, uh, amazing player that we've seen from this uh, so far in the season play, but just all around, he does what he has to do. He doesn't play very aggressive, sits back, kind of plays the anchor role very well. Uh, once you get him into that battle power position, that's where he's definitely gonna shine, and with his gun skill, his accuracy, everything like that, he's gonna do excellent work for the squad. That's exactly what you want from your battle player like Octane. Oh, without a doubt, uh, Octane doing a very nice job, just kind of hanging out all the way in the back with that foul. It's unfortunate, had a last, uh, no bad game five if you'd had a better game five things probably would have been different in that last series and everyone's so important for justice they can't dig themselves a big hole like i know optic nation did season one uh, optic nation dug themselves a hole never were going to be able to come out of justice has to be careful they can't do the same thing shane he's going to control the hill going to give tcm the lead here and shane getting off to a great start 21 and 15 for this tcm lineup usually don't see him top nope in the kill department for this squad 
Yeah, you you really don't. I'm on a four kill streak right now, so absolutely going off for his squad. It's going to be shut down on his five. Has six captures to his name as well. So him and Jerd doing a lot of getting the captures, holding down inside of that hill. But Moose going to be the last guy inside, picking up the last few scrap seconds on that hill. So now we move back into the middle hill. Score 111 to 91. Fairly close game right now. But Justice just trying to do everything they can to try to get the score more even. Yep, Justice trying to get control of that hill. Was study on. He was taken out right away by Jerd. Jerd, he's going to drop a moose doing a nice job trying to get control of the hill. It's going to be Justice fighting from top spawn, trying to get control of it. But you know, they're not able to get those important kills. You know, Justice starting to come alive a little bit in the slaying department, but not able to win the kills on the hill. Oh yeah, definitely. Your mic just like cut out there for like a like solid five seconds. I thought there was something wrong, but then like your voice just started picking up. So anyway, inside of the hill, it's gonna be Gunshi. Go ahead and jump on board with him. 21 and 16. Running the bound for the squad. Gonna be taken out there by the hands of TCM from this Justice squad. Now they're gonna be taken over this hill. Now this Turtle Hill, we know that Turtle is one of the biggest hills in this map. Uh, it can be really game changing if you can get that locked down as well as that bar area. Kind of the kind of the two hills to look out for. And then obviously attic being the third one that's going to be the big money hill because obviously you hold that rotation down from bar to attic you're gonna get a decent amount of time off those hills so you could possibly even get 20 off each hill that equals out to 40 sometimes even 30 off each one yep you can get a uh, nope 20 to 30 out of those I mean two rotations in a row you win another two hills that's how you end up winning by 100 plus points uh jared on your screen gonna be jumping over pool wall and all tcm has to do is just not let Justice really contend this one. They just need to keep this one to themselves, really just pad that lead a little more, and it's gonna be very hard for Justice to come back because then you know, you're gonna force them to play for garbage time. They're not gonna be able to get any good time anywhere uh, for the rest yeah. of the game, and that is definitely gonna be a struggle Justice does not wanna have to overcome. Yeah, definitely. Jared really been having an excellent game so far. Been getting on those hot streaks. One of those players kind of like a, a karma scump once he gets uh, amped up, once he starts getting that flow going. It's going to be hard to stop and definitely seen it here. 26, 24, 11 captures to his name. Was recently on a seven kill streak before he got taken out. So we are into this next hill right now. Going to go ahead and stay on board with Jared. Kill feed lighting up with these TCM players. Shane being the player that popped up most in there. Picking up some more kills. Two kill streak for him. Excellent slaying so far we're seeing from Jared and Shane yeah I would say Jared as a player for me uh, he is more an attached skunk type of player where somebody who's just gonna put constant pressure on the hill and he does a fantastic job of it I mean you can see it when we go to his screen just the movement everything kind of reminds you a little bit of attach and skunk just does a great job putting a lot of that pressure but it's gonna be TCM in control of this one Jared picking up a two-piece gonna go on a three streak gonna try and get that fourth outside but this one seems like it might be out of the hands of justice tcm starting to pull away yeah they definitely are now like we said these two next hills are going to be crucial they're going to be huge if they're going to be able to get this so maybe look for justice even though they can't really afford obviously the scrap time is gone now but they need to do a really good job of one holding down the hill two holding down those spawns because if you hold it down for a majority of the time you're going to get that rotation to attic things are going to go pretty good for you but 184 to 128 now tcm going to be inside of the hill just trying to just be a nuisance sitting in there able to pick up one going to be another player outside but you do see the flood of these tcm players coming into the hill able to slay out take control of it but study going to be the last player left alive in the hill going to go ahead and get punched by jerd yep gunshi he's going to be working around the outside of the hill nobody from justice is even looking at him as they keep jumping in through the front tcm's going to try and jump in he's going to make a play for it Merc, next one in He's not going to be able to get anything done. Octane switching over to his sub. He's going to get dropped in the hill. Guys from TCM just doing a great job on the defensive side. I think Shane get, drops 40 so far in this game. Going to have another you know, minute to really pad those stats even more. And we usually don't see games like that. Uh, Shane, that's shocking. Yeah, definitely. And right now, I believe it is actually going to be mathematically impossible just by a little bit. 194 to 144. And this whole, all this time could go to justice and it would still not be able to make the comeback, I do believe. I'm terrible at math, even the tiniest of things. But TCM, doesn't even matter. Gonna go ahead and say no mercy. Slay out the justice squad. Say no way that you're even gonna get close to narrowing that score down. But excellent game that we saw from Shane, and Jerd, Gunshi, just this whole entire team. Really just... Popped up in the kill fit when they need to. I mean, like you said, Jerd really did an excellent job. Was one of those players got heated up, started going on a kill shake. But Shane just all around slaying the entire game to consistency. 45, and he's still adding on to that. 
Yeah, fantastic game from Shane. Usually don't see this uh, often out of him, an objective-minded player in the sense of, you know, kind of, I don't want to say like a replays, but you know, in the same kind of department. Usually don't see him going off in the slaying department for those type of numbers. Uh, very nice game from him and Jurd and a few of the other guys on TCM on the flip side for Justice. I think the only one that really showed up in the slaying department was Octane going 40 and 27, doing a very nice job of that. But when we come back from this quick commercial break, we'll have game number two between TCM and Justice. Stay tuned.